Excel Daily Solutions. 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 Excel Daily Solut
Now you'll notice that there's three, right? Um, what's the, uh, the the opposite of that is L bound, which is going to give me zero. Um, but that basically tells me how big is this data set that we're working with. So that's that's U bound, um, and I'm going to need to resize that. Uh, again, remember how I was saying that I got to resize that by one. I need to increase one because it's only going to return. It's going to return three, but in this case, I need four. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. We're going to set the active range. I'm just going to uh, go RNG dot select just so that you can see on the screen. Now, I don't need to do this. This is really more of a visual thing for me. Um, but you may want to do stuff like this where you you're walking through code and you're like, wait a sec, I want to actually see what I just did. Hold on, we're going to go back here. You know, um, and it's going to select that. And I should ha have selected four columns, right? So I've got one, two, oh, geez. That's funny. Ah. All right, come on. Uh, we're going to go here and we're going to hit RNG select. And it should select through F. And that looks correct. Now, um, what's funny is this looks like it's the right size because of the length of it. Um, but really that's not what I'm looking at. I'm looking at basically comma is a column, delimited is a column, text two is a column, um, and columns is a column. So it actually looks like I've got too many columns here. So what we're gonna do is we are going to, uh, we can actually get rid of that. But let me just show you what we're gonna do now. So now all we need to do is we go RNG is equal to S. And what that's gonna do, um, is this going to set that range equal to whatever my array is? So let's give that a shot. And actually, I think this is going to air out because I think I've selected too many columns. And it did. It gave me an NA. And that NA basically is like, wait a sec. You've got too much information. Um, and the resize, uh, it resized by three, right? So um, if I get rid of that, I am good to go. Now, the other way to do this, um, outside of just using the range to do this, is you would come in here and you would go, um, I'm gonna uh, let me stop this real quick and walk. I'm gonna walk through this one time um, just to make sure that it's correct. Now you'll notice I've got this all in these columns. I'm gonna delete those. I'm gonna grab my text that I used and I'm just gonna run through it one time. And then I'm gonna show you um, how we would go about doing this if you used a loop. So what we would do is I'm going to click on this, I'm going to hit run, I'm going to put a comma in, I'm going to hit OK, and I, I'm going to expect that to land in that many columns. And it does. Perfect. So if we were to do this a little differently, if we wanted to do this with loops, we would need to figure out what the active row column and the active row cell is. And so that would be, um, you know, active, we would go RW equals active cell dot, dot row. And we go cl equals active cell dot column, and then I would have my variables, and then I I would simply have to loop through my my um, I'd simply have to loop through my my array, passing that information. So it would look like this for um, rw. We would go. We would need a variable. So I would typically do I do for rw, oh, no, we can't use rw. We're going to use 4r equals rw, or whatever row. Actually, I'm, getting, I'm trying to keep my variables clean. 4c equals cl2, um, and it's going to be uh, cl2, cl plus u bound. Of three, uh, U bound of S, just going to give me that upper limit, and then we would do next, and then what we would have to do is we would have to basically um, put uh, cells C comma no, it would be R W comma C is equal to S um, uh, S of C as well. And so it would look something like this. So it's a, it's significantly more complicated um, to do it this way than it is just to resize. And then in, in essence, you're just pasting that range over it. Um, and actually, I don't even know if this would completely work um, because I'm not starting with zero. 
Um, so this would actually, I'd have to do this a little differently. Um, I would actually probably, um, I'm kind of doing this on the fly, so I'm sorry this is a little choppy. Um, but that's basically kind of how that would work. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it would look more like this. It would be 4 um, C equals 0 to the U bound of S. And this would be cells CL plus C is equal to. That's what it would actually look like. Now let's just go ahead and give that a shot. I just want to try this just for um, just for fun's sake, just so that you have two different ways to do this. Now, if, if I was starting coding, this is how I would try to do it the first time, because I wouldn't have known about how, how split worked. I wouldn't have tried it. This would not have been a wasted exercise. It actually would have been a good exercise, because um, you would have learned how to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of all of this information here. At least this piece, these, this piece right here. I'm going to comment that out. Where's my comment? There it is. And we're going to hit F8. We're going to run through this. Comma delimited. Okay. Uh, that's a comma, isn't it? Click that. F8. Okay. I want to know what my active row is. That's going to give me 10. My active column is going to be 2. And now I'm going to go from 0 to U bound, which is 3. I'm going to start in 10. And I'm going to go from 2 plus 0, and it's basically going to go through that, that exact process and basically get that out. So that's two ways to do it. I would recommend using the first one. <laughs> that's why I did it first. But um, if you did figure it out like that, that's a, an awesome way to do that. I'm going to comment this out so that when I paste it into, uh, into YouTube, you guys have kind of the cleaner solution or the better solution. Um, but again, so let's go ahead and try this for a for a couple different different ways to do this. Okay, we're gonna now try to try to do this with a space. So we've got a space in here, F5. I'm gonna add a space, and you'll notice that it creates a big old long, uh, puts that all in columns. Wait a sec, does this work for pipes? And you're asking, what the heck is a pipe? Um, pipe is a fun little character. Uh, we're gonna hit F5. A pipe is this little guy. Uh, in the U.S., it's shift, and it's the key that's right over the enter. It looks like an I, but it's basically a pipe. That's what they call it. Um, why do they call it that? I don't know. And you'll notice that it works as well. So that is how you would do text to columns in VBA. I hope you enjoyed this. hope you learned a lot. Um, there's actually a lot in this, which doesn't seem like there would be, but it is. Um, make sure that you're subscribing to the Everyday VBA channel. Check me out on Facebook as well. And if you've solved this or have comments or need anything, reach out to me in a comment. And I hope you enjoyed.